V, it's time we moved. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's delta to that station. Hope you know a shortcut. Mm-hmm. Get ready. The bikes are fine. Hop on. Scorpion said I would hate Night City. You knew you that well? Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would get ourselves an RV. Then we'd stock up and hit the road. Greater Lake. That was his big dream. Heard it's beautiful there. And that Ryan Deemer's car is rusting at the bottom. What? Who? That Corpo. Stole some sort of prototype. I think it was Militech. You don't remember? Anyway, chased the guy through three states, only to fish his body up out of the lake. Killed himself? Doubt it. Think they hit him with a virus. Anyway, lost control. Probably suffocated before he could drown. That is fucked up. Will you stop thinking about all that sad shit for a moment, right? <laughs> okay, covering you. Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Cars, nomads. Mm -hmm. I recognize them. The clans. Targets in hiding.
battery sink! Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're Inobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? The pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Helmet and that's one hell of a car. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just Biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep 
him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few old accounts. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Jeez, long story. Not sure I'd even know where to start. Tell me next time, then. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. So, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip?
I've got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. Construct, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And of you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And engrams. it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa. We just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Zeus the one who's gonna help us. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. No matter what. Sooner or later, the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. 
I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Cause I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. than nothing, as long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What will you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. See that? Fuck me, just look at that. Paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eaten at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. You were a kid from the Badlands. Family was your crutch and cushion. But in NC, you're nobody. Best you can do is steal from scavs, the Merc janitors. 
You're a dick, you know. So, and you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. I ain't find life under my skin. Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. So listen, will, will I notice a change, or is it one of those things where I wonder why I ever feared it? Worse than you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Wanna hear it? Alright. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do John, whatever it takes to stop we got them. It. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day. <laughs>